Good afternoon and welcome to My Carolina. I'm Joanna Himes. This summer, the IMAX Theater at Marvel's Kids Museum is playing Into America's Wild. It's an incredibly visual, epic adventure that unveils some of the nation's coolest and most iconic wilderness areas. One of the movie's starring adventurers, John Harrington, happened to be in Raleigh, so he stopped by our studio to fill us in on this incredible film. Just in time for summer, an incredible new IMAX film now playing at the Marvel's Kids Museum here in Raleigh encourages us to embrace our inner trailblazer and enjoy the great outdoors. The film is called Into America's Wild and joining us today is one of the stars of the film, John Harrington. Hey. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. It was so nice to have you. It was kind of coincidence you yep. happened to be in Raleigh. You're not a native. You're from Montana. I live in Montana now. Yes. Yep. A big, big Montana farm man, right? You got a lot of big property out there. I live on a runway. Actually. Oh my gosh. A little, little private runway. A little yeah. private runway. What a life you're living out there. Yeah. But the rest of your family's here in Raleigh. So my, we're working on getting yep, you here, right? Yep. Yep. Well, yeah, everybody but me. I live everybody on the West Coast. So, yeah. Everybody but you. So let's talk about this film, sure. Into America's Wild. Tell me mm -hmm. what this awesome movie is about. Well, what it is is myself and a woman named Ariel Tweedo, who was in a TV show called Flying Wild Alaska. She's Inuit. She's Nupiak from uh, Uniquely, Alaska. Mm -hmm. And we kind of essentially went from the West Coast to the East Coast and covered a bunch of really kind of off the beaten path places in the country, just showing the beauty of this beauty of what we have here. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So, what places did you get to visit? And was there anything that sort of really stood out to you? Something you maybe never saw before. Which way is the Great Smoky Mountains? That's oh, really in it. that direction. I love the Great Smoky Mountains. <laughs> so we, we did a really neat segment there with a woman named Jennifer Far Davis, who's mm -hmm. from Nashville or Asheville, oh, I mean. Okay. And she's hiked the Appalachian Trail from from start to finish, record time for man or woman. Wow. I think in like 46 days, something like it, 47 miles a day. Wow. So we met Jennifer out there, got to hike the Appalachian Trail with her. So that was really I'd never been. I've flown over it, uh -huh. but I'd never been there before. Yeah. Well, I grew up in Roanoke, Virginia, so the Appalachian Trail kind of ran through sure. and around my hometown. Sure. So I. I'm a big fan of the trail as well. That sounds really cool, and I love the Great Smoky Mountains. Yep. So, what do you hope people will take away from this film when they go see it at the IMAX here at Marvels? Well, it's, uh, the idea is to get outside. You know, we've been we've been cloistered you know, for, been, for yes. past years. So, where I live in Montana, a lot of folks are coming to Glacier National Park. People are getting out. And getting out and enjoying the, what's what's around you, um, and it's what I like, and I've done my entire career is spend time outdoors. I live outdoors. I walk outside. I walk my dog. I uh, I walk out inside a can of bear spray because you step down on the food chain a little bit, so it's fun. That is not something I worry about while walking my dog here in North Carolina. So I'm going to stay here in Raleigh. All right. So this film is super impressive, and I hope everybody gets the sure. chance to check it out. But I learned another really impressive thing about you that okay. people may not realize because you are a NASA astronaut. Yes, ma'am. You are the first astronaut I've gotten. To interview so I get to check something off my bucket list. So please tell us everything about being an astronaut. Uh, how much time do you have? I don't know. Um, okay. I, uh, I, I flew in a shuttle in 2002. I was selected as an astronaut in 1996. Wow. I was a naval aviator. I was a test pilot in the Navy. I hunted Russian submarines for a few years. Uh, flew as a test pilot. Master's degree. I got selected to NASA. I worked there for about six years doing a variety of things. I strapping my friends into the space shuttle and watching them fly. And then I was selected and I flew on 2002 on the space shuttle Endeavor. Yeah, you're right there. Oh, there it is. And uh, did three spacewalks, uh, oh helped assemble gosh. a truss on the space station. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I am in awe right now. I've never met anyone who's been to space, okay? <laughs> so we got to talk about this because it's sure. been in the news, right? There's okay. been sightings. There's yeah. been videos. Yeah. The government's going to comment on it. Did you see anything extraterrestrial on your walks? Extraterrestrial or things I couldn't explain? Things, oh, things you couldn't explain. Well, you know, there's things that, the, things will happen. You'll see something go by the vehicle, uh -huh. and you have no idea what it is. Right. And you, there's no there's no depth perception to what it is. And so I turned to my Russian colleague, a guy named Vlad, or, uh, Valery Korzun, and we were actually, when the jets on the shuttle fire, we have reaction control jets on the, fire, on the uh, shuttle, and when they fire, they kick off little particles. And they'll go faster than the vehicle. So you're like, well, what's that? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not. It's not an extraterrestrial. It's not a UFO. It's. It is something you can't identify, but someone knows what it is. Somebody so, out there. Yeah. Does. So you look at it and go, what's that? And you go, and it's something that's explainable. It, yeah. it might be explainable, but it might not for my <laughs> husband out there who's really interested in all of this. So it's been incredible sure. meeting you again. I've never gotten to meet anyone who's been to space. So this is a big day cool. for me. I appreciate you coming all the way to Raleigh just to, just to do the interview for the show, of oh, course. Oh, my pleasure. I hope everyone gets out to the Marbles Museum yep. to check this film out on IMAX. And I hope we all are able to get outside and enjoy this summer. Morgan Freeman narrates it. <gasps> it's cool. And go just to hear Morgan Freeman. <laughs> he says my name. He's, yeah. Oh, my gosh.
she says your name. Now, there's another thing to add to my bucket list. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us. Guys, make sure you check out that film and get outside this summer. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.